Well, that right hand line really has come live. We've had three decent bream there. And uh, because I put that ground bait in, I think it's spread out a little bit because there's a bit of toe. There seemed to be an odd bubble all over the peg and a little cluster here, a little cluster there. So after the first one, I literally put in 10 or 12 bits of corn just to really centralise the fish a little killing zone. And I've caught two doing that. So again, it just goes to show that it's not about piling in cupfuls of bait. I literally fed a dozen bits of corn after each one. There's been a couple of bubbles since that last fish. I've netted that last fish, put it in the net, fed a dozen bits of corn, gone back in, and I've just sat, sat and waited. And there's been two or three bubbles around it, and I'm sure I'm going to get another one any minute, because, like I say, there's definitely fish in the area. They've settled over that ground bait. And I'm just using a few bits of corn to really sort of localise them into a little killing area. And that's where I'm holding my float dead still, right over the top of it. But everything's working well now. Just feel like I've got fish in my peg. The left hand line was good early, the right hand line's come good late. And what's good if you've got two pegs, it's a brilliant way of doing it, being positive on one and quite negative on the other and just seeing which one plays out as the best. And quite often you'll have what I've had today. Halfway through the session I've put in two decent cupfuls of ground bait on the right hand line and just left it. And all of a sudden, a good two hours later I've looked across and there's fish on it and I've ended up catching three more bream. So it really is good if you don't necessarily, at the start you can feed both lines the same and then just alter it. Try and feed one a bit positive, one a little bit negative. And that way you always give yourself a chance of catching a few fish, especially if the day's a little bit dodgy, like it's been today. Like I say, the weather, not ideal for small canal, shallow canal fishing. But again, we've had a fantastic day. We've got well over 10 bream and probably a good 8 to 10 pound of roach as well.